dark o'clock with Josh. What up, Pooba? Welcome back to another episode of Talk O'Clock with Josh. I am your Josh. Josh. We're coming at you live from the recording studio, shaped like my car. Brought back Stone Cold for this car episode. Hopefully this will be one of the last episodes that I have to do in my car. I found a new place to live, and I'm just waiting on the paperwork to come through. Yes! No more crazy Spanish guy! So in my last video, I said I was donating to charity, and for every like that I got on that video, I would be donating additional money. And let me tell you, the Poobots really came out. As of this recording, it's up to 175 views with 15 likes. That's more than I have ever gotten on one of my Talk O'Clock with Josh videos. Those 15 likes mean that I'll be donating an additional $150 for the $100 I was already donating. For those of you that can't do math, that's $250 to our local charity, the Wood Buffalo Food Bank. I called it the Fort McMurray Food Bank in the last one. Fort McMurray is basically Wood Buffalo. I forgot to mention in the earlier video that I was only going to count the likes that it got in the first week. There's still time as of this recording to go like the video, but once this video is out, the cutoff will be passed. So if you're interested in the final results, I'll be posting that on my social media. Go follow me on there if you're interested in how much we're giving back. I'll be doing the same thing for this video with a different charity, as well as a $175 gift away for the poo butts. That's right, free monies in Amazon gift cards. Stick around till the end of the video for those details. It's 20 degrees and I can't use the AC. It's great. I love it. For this video, I'll be going back to my roots, poo butts. That's right. It's time to read the fact of news. <laughs> Woman labeled spoiled brat for making her husband buy her three engagement rings. Three engagement rings! I don't even think you need one! I'm a little salty about marriage in general! Maybe it's because my parents are divorced! Maybe that says a whole lot more about me than it does about this girl! A woman has admitted that she asked her husband to buy her three engagement rings, and people were outraged when she explained why. The woman explained that the first engagement ring her husband bought her was silver with diamonds before he went on to purchase gold and rose gold options too. The woman wrote on the Facebook group, that's it, I'm proposal shaming. I'm super, super picky when it comes to my jewelry. It all has to match. So if I'm wearing silver, it'll have to be silver. If I'm wearing gold, it all has to be gold. If I'm wearing rose gold, everything has to be rose gold. But group members slammed her for being high maintenance and spoiled. This chick is unbelievable! People worked their whole lives to afford one engagement ring, and this girl gets three for nothing! Cause she thinks she's worth it! L'Oreal! This girl it's lucky she got one because if I was with this girl, she'd be dumped in a second. Yeah. Whilst most women traditionally receive one engagement ring, this woman has the option to swap hers out depending on how she feels that day. She added, I technically have three engagement rings. I have the first ring that he proposed to me with, which is silver with diamonds, and then I have a gold ring and a rose gold ring. Ladies, if your man doesn't love you enough to make sure your OCD isn't going crazy, then you need a new man. Holy shit. She's trying to fucking play like she has has OCD? That's, that's not OCD! OCD is a legitimate mental disorder! Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, OCD, is a mental disorder in which a person feels the need to perform certain routines repeatedly or has certain thoughts repeatedly. The person is unable to control either thoughts or activities for more than a short period of time. You wanting three engagement rings isn't OCD! Wanting to match your engagement ring to your outfit isn't O-C-D! You don't have OCD. You have I-A-S-L-G-S. -S. I am a spoiled little girl syndrome. One person said, that's not OCD. That's called high maintenance and spoiled. Exactly, dude. Exactly. Another added, my condolences to your husband. The ring isn't important. It's the love and meaning behind the ring. I think you're just a spoiled brat. I know people with OCD, and this isn't it, chief. I almost said chef. A third comment said, shallow as a puddle. I've seen some pretty deep puddles. This girl, shallow as a shot glass. <sighs> Fan exposes Kinder Egg's secret, and it has blown people's minds. We all grew up loving Kinder Surprise Eggs. Chocolate and a toy in one. What more could you ask for? I used to eat the shit out of Kinder Eggs, dude. You know, you can't get them in America because you're not allowed to, like, hide surprises in food. If you've somehow made it through life without trying one, the delicious sweet treat is a hollow milk chocolate egg with an inner layer of milk-flavored cream. Inside the egg is a little plastic capsule which contains a toy. Your surprise. But prepare to have your mind blown! 
alone! Sullivan Poulter took to the children of 1980's Facebook page to share his discovery, and other people can't believe it. He shared a picture that reads, I was today years old when I realized. He found out that the yellow toy capsule is meant to be the yolk inside the egg. Duh! I figured that shit out when I was three! One person said, well I never, neither did I, and it's so obvious, now you point it out. Another revealed, really, and the white chocolate is the egg white. Okay, that, that one I didn't really realize, but okay. And a third said, mind officially blown with a hundred exclamation points. Can't believe people actually have their mind blown by this. It's an egg. It's a egg. Woman can't wear shoes or go for a run because of her extra long toenails. What a fucking headline! Arinda Storm Weaver, Storm Weaver, very rarely cuts her toenails and as a result they're incredibly long. Well yeah, that's what happens when you don't cut your toenails. They get long! So long that she can't wear closed toed shoes or go for a run. And while the lengths shock some people, there are many who really enjoy them. And a number will even pay for videos of her feet. <laughs> the 58 year old who lives in Columbus, Ohio charges $11.50 for a 10 minute clip of her toenails. <laughs> clip. And makes so much money from these videos that she was able to quit her career as an account specialist. Can you imagine making enough money to make a living just by fucking growing your toenails out? What the fuck am I doing? Why am I working my ass off every day when I could just grow my toenails out? She also shares photos of her hands and feet on social media, which is where she first discovered nail fetishes were a thing. I repeat. <laughs> oh, these pictures are making me fucking queasy, dude. Back in 2006, while recovering from a double mastectomy, Arinda uploaded a few photos of her long fingernails to MySpace, just to show them off. MySpace, so 2006, dude. They soon began garnering a lot of attention and she realized there was also serious money to be made, especially from toes. Speaking to Metro, she said, I opted to start growing them for the toenail guys. Dude, you know what I really love? You know what really turns me on? Getting my legs scratched up when I'm in bed. Oh yeah, gouge your fucking three inch toenails into my legs, baby. I love it. I discovered I could make money from having long toenails nails, so just let them grow out. Dude, this lady has a fucking OnlyFans for her toenails! There's a picture here where she's holding a cigarette and looking at her feet at the same time. I thought the fucking cigarette was between her toes. <laughs> Arinda now identifies as an LNB, a long nail beauty. <laughs> and while she does make a lot of money with her nails, there are a few downsides. Yeah. You think? She explained, wearing closed-toed shoes is not possible with my toenails. Oh, I never would have guessed, dude! I also cannot wear heels any longer. They tend to make me walk slower, and I also cannot run with them. <laughs> Police arrest man hiding in bush who gave himself away with loud fart. Why is this me if I was a criminal? They don't call me Big Papa Pooh Butt for nothing. I once cleared a friend's basement of, like, Eight people with just my ass stank. Police officers said they came up trumps after locating a man who gave away his hiding spot in a bush by breaking wind. I feel like that's a real British term. It's also a term that my grandparents used. Breaking wind for farting? What does it mean? You're not breaking the wind. The wind is still intact. Nottingham police attended an address in Brookside Walk in Harworth on Thursday in connection with a warrant. Officers were led on a chase by a man into some woods, and while trying to locate the suspect in the dark, they heard what they believed to be the sound of someone breaking wind from a nearby bush. This dude almost got away, and the only reason he got caught was because he farted! Dude! This is so me if I was a criminal. The son reported one of the officers involved in the pursuit said, I was almost out of wind running, but luckily the suspect still had some. Dude, why is this police officer a better comedian than I am? Guaranteed this dude never won a game of hide and seek in his life. Hot. Influencer in tears after losing followers says she has no other talent. I feel like that might be the case for a lot of influencers. Coronavirus outbreak and subsequent lockdown have caused many people to be without work. Some have been made redundant while others are furloughed? The fuck does furloughed mean? In theory, those who make their money online should be thriving right about now, but it seems even they are struggling during these difficult times. One influencer recently took to social media to share the position she has found herself in during the global pandemic. The woman, known as Billy Beaver, uh -oh, shared a video on TikTok in which she can be seen crying over losing followers on the website only fans. Oh, I didn't know showing your puss made you an influencer. She said, I'm losing subscribers on OnlyFans, like my main source of income. I can't pay my rent anymore. And like, even if I was to go back to work, like what am I supposed to do? Like go work in a strip club? They're all closed down as well. <laughs> I can't believe 
I can't believe people don't want to pay ten dollars to look at my pussy! She continued, I have nothing else going for me. I have no other talent. I can't dance, I can't sing, I can't do anything. So like, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Maybe you should have made something of your life. At least she's self-aware. The young woman added that she just wanted things to go back to normal so people would subscribe to her page again. Like, holy shit, dude. You know how many people lost their jobs because of this shit? I lost my job. I'm back now. But like, that's just fucking selfish, man. Lots of people are struggling. But seriously, her saying that she has nothing to offer the world besides her puss? That's a fucking boss bitch move, dude. While many were sympathetic with her, others thought she needed a reality check. On the Australian podcast, Not Here to Make Friends, the influencer was urged to go out and do something good for society instead. Hey, cheers, mate. I wonder how people whose main income is OnlyFans file their taxes. I'm very curious. Yes, hello, I would like to write off these two dozen dildos, please. They were a business expense. So that wraps it up for the weird news. Back to the charity. Seems super weird that I'm talking about charity after just just reading about a girl who was complaining about being poor from not having any skills because of the OnlyFans. Jason Derulo. <laughs> So for this video, I'm going to be donating to the Fort McMurray Boys and Girls Club. They are committed to transforming the lives of vulnerable children, youth, and their families by providing safe places and offering services and programs designed to meet the evolving needs of our community. We want our kids to develop confidence, gain skills, and experience success so they can reach their best potential in life. We believe that every single kid counts. They were also affected by the flood. So I'm going to start with $150 this time, and for every like this video gets, I'll add another $10. Just a way for the poobah to give back. For this video, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away three Amazon gift cards. Everybody that enters will get one entry. When all the entries are filled out, I'll draw names from a hat. The first name will get a $100 Amazon gift card. The second name will get a $50 Amazon gift card. And the third name will get a $25 Amazon gift card. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment, perhaps describing what your OnlyFans account would be. Hey, this is Josh Editing. Forgot to mention that the charity thing is for a week and then the giveaway is for a week as well. Okay, bye. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Like the Facebook. If you want to support the show by buying some merch, you can go to talkoclockwithjosh.com. Hit that like button one time for me. So we can give back to charity. And if you want to make Big Papa Poo Butt very, very proud, hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, leave a comment so you can enter the contest for the Amazon gift card. That's all for now, and remember, Salgun BK. Bye.